Chasing the Bird, and it started as a project called Charlie's Angels, which was uh, one of the ways that I thought I could best pay homage and tribute to Charlie Parker as a musician. And the idea was to try to transcribe maybe eight to nine original recordings of Charlie Parker's music and to transcribe his musical licks into dance tap choreography. was the original idea um, and now it has developed more about the journey of an artist and um, the journey of a prophet, the journey of every normal person who is trying to reach beyond their comfort zone from where they are to where they want to be. And um, we kind of parallel the, the experience of Charlie Parker but we also um, parallel that experience with a tap dancer's experience and we try to find the relationship between uh, people like Charlie Parker who are the lead you know of a band to, to now what is the lead who's leading the band now who's leading the party now you know and I like to think tap dancers are those leaders or at least some of them have a lot more influence than I think people give us credit for. Um, musically, uh, dance-wise, everything. Even with popular culture, I think tap dancers affect all of that behind the scenes. But we're trying to bring that to the forefront. But this project is, is one of my ways to hopefully elevate the respect for tap dance, but also for just to create a wider perspective of how you can use tap dance to tell any kind of story you want to tell. because it cannot get any better than that, ever. <laughs> that is where the beat of the heart starts and ends and begins again. The rhythm, the melody, to miss it, a felony. 
the people will be transfixed. Fixed? Where do you come from? What set do you claim? What is your name? Diamonds. Lives shall be lost to attain you. Um, I think people have a limited idea of how to use tap to tell a story. And so oftentimes it's used as a novelty or it's complimentary to something that's already the main uh, voice. But in this instance, we're trying to make tap dance that main voice in the storytelling. We're using tap dance, but we're also using live music. We're using words that are to be spoken and to also be sang. We are like grains of sand. co-directing, which is I think is very exciting because they're both tap dancers and they both have a, a tap perspective, so they're going to bring that to the, to the table. We have an amazing writer um, named Mums, who's also a poet and an MC, so he's bringing some of the hip-hop element and culture and also spoken word culture and just overall uh, uh, an intellectual mind that uh, I don't think exists in this room, so he's bringing some of that to the table. And then we have Theo Hill uh, creating some of the music um, and uh, myself doing the choreography. And we have an amazing dramaturg as well, Ms. Chelsea Ad Adumwe. And to tell the journey of an artist, someone who is like Charlie Parker, who is like one of these great tap dancers in the show. And speaking of, uh, I, I was just mentioning the back end, but on the front end, on stage, we have amazing artists. Uh, including Gormisha Sumbri Edwards, Michelle Dorrance, and Chloe Arnold, who will be the featured dancers in this production. And they're some of the best tap dancers in the world right now. Um, some people would say, some, some would say they're the, they're the best women, but I think they're the best tap dancers. I think they have an incredible range um, of character and um, of style, and also of dynamics in the dance. You know, they, they can dance as strong or as heavy as any men, then they can bring the soft subtleties and the beauty of, of a woman. So I will also be in it, um, which I'm not exactly, you know, doing backflips over because I, I, the, the point of this show was for me to not be in it. But, you know, at this point, I'm going to just try to add something to the table and be one of the, 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 uh, the characters. You can almost think of this as like a ballet done with tap dance. We also have words so that it's not completely abstract and making people figure out everything that's happening. But um, we, want, we want people to get the idea that you can replace a, a, a script that involves conversation with a script that has to do with dance or, or music. And, and just the idea that, that you, can, you can use tap in the same way you would use dialogue or you would use music. That's really, you know, the bigger uh, mission is to is to expand people's imagination of how you can use tap dance to tell a, a better story. So at this point, we have gone beyond just tra transcribing the music because because we're using tap to guide the journey of the characters and also to uh, create better transitions between one scene and another. So. And, and, and some, at some points, we're also using it as dialogue. So you might have one character saying something and then another one answering with tap dance. You know, so that we're just trying to blur that line of this is dance, this is talking, this is music, this is, you know, it's, to us, it's all the same thing. And how, you know, it's, if, you, if you can seamlessly incorporate all these elements in a way that it doesn't feel like it's forced, then I think then, We'll, we'll reach our goals, but thank you for coming to rehearsal to this mad, mad house we have here, you know, it's a... Uh
lots of things happening, but it's it's good. I mean, this is to me this is the fun part of it. Performing is gonna be fun too, but this this is like you know you're supposed to enjoy these long rehearsals where you're just in a room with all creative people and everybody sharing energy and exchanging. So. That's also why I'm grateful to the Joyce's because you know this residency is providing the space for us to rehearse and you know have certain resources that wouldn't be available to us otherwise. So I'm extremely humbled and grateful for this experience, but more, more to come.